Hey, I wanted to show you an idea I had a while ago, and it's proved to be kind of a positive thing for my family. Uh, you kind of wonder about uh, yard space. Why do we throw it away on, on grass? I've never really liked that. In fact, honestly, if it wasn't for my wife, I would get rid of my yard entirely and put it in a garden. But um, I decided and, and kind of pushed for uh, grow beds in my front yard. And there's some benefits to that for gardening. And in this case, right behind me, uh, what I did is I took some fiberglass I-beams. I ended up buying those at a Department of Energy auction. I got them pretty cheap. I think this grow bed probably was $5. What I did is I took those uh, six inch, so the flanges were six inches, the web was about six inches high, and just ripped those down. And well, what, what you can see is the fiberglass is, is the boundary. It's almost like a raised bed, uh, although six inches isn't much. And what I did is I placed uh, uh, raspberries in there. So, you know, what my kids do when they get home, uh, it's, it, they're ever bearing raspberries. There's two distinct seasons, one in July and one in uh, September. And the kids, uh, when they get home or, you know, whoever gets home, uh, it's kind of fun. I make sure they can eat healthy. They come home, they eat, um, they eat the raspberries. And it's been really nice. And the other thing I did here, uh, similarly on the other side, of this driveway. Uh, so when people were walking in, I put another bed immediately behind me here. And that originally was strawberries. Uh, I don't have a lot of time. I'm kind of busy with stuff. So what I did there is, um, you know, we kept it for a few years, four years probably with the strawberries, but there's so much weeding involved with strawberries that it just wasn't worth my time. So we, we ended up getting rid of that. The other thing I did up in the front yard, I uh, went ahead and uh, put some additional grow beds in over in this corner. And these, you know, these have been kind of fun. Um, you know, in years past, uh, we've done corn, we've done a variety of vegetables here, uh, sunflowers along the base of the house. And um, it's just been nice. And I guess the gist here is even though we have a wide backyard, um, it just doesn't make you know, sense to me why we spend so much time and energy on a yard, you know, landscaping yards. When I think grow beds are beautiful, and this yard, um, you know, we've won yard of the year, yard of the month, I guess, in the summertime uh, here uh, from our, our county, our city, uh, because it looks good. So it doesn't have to look bad having gardens up front, raised beds for vegetables. Um, you can actually make it look really good and make it a positive um, aspect of your community as well. So I just wanted to throw that out in an era of you know, limited potential food supplies. Think of Sri Lanka or the Netherlands or other places where you have food riots. I think transitioning our, our lawn into gardens uh, might be a good thing to do. And it just seems like a complete waste of energy to spend time and money on mowing yards when you really don't get anything out of them other than appearance. Uh, you can transition that to something that's, uh, something that's positive. Anyway, that's my two cents. Um, thank you for your time and have a good day.